So we finally have some visual changes with Android 15. This is Android 15's QPR update. It's beta 2 with QPR 1, which is a stable version is coming with the December update. In case you don't know, QPR means quarterly perform releases, basically released for the Google Pixel based devices. But it's about the changes which you will get with Android 15 if you are going to use it soon. The first biggest change with Android 15 is this update, latest update is finally the settings app, settings UI is properly revamped. In case you don't know, I've shared this with you some days ago regarding some new changes are coming with Android 15 and yes, it's finally rolling out. We have new redesigned settings UI, basically gives you this kind of UI settings, header is no more there, only the settings search option is present. Some of the things are sorted, these are in some boxes and yes, this is what we have, you can say card style UI. And one thing let me tell you that if you move on to the bottom, you will notice the about phone is now at the top, the security and privacy location, these menus are now at bottom. And yes, in case you don't know, this kind of thing is available in some of the OEMs already. Like in, I guess in Realme UI, maybe in Samsung or maybe some other devices, but in the stock Android with the Google Pixel devices, it's actually new. So the new settings UI, or you can say settings revamped UI is now available with the latest Android 15. So yes, with the new updates, you will get this new UI automatically. Another thing is, which is quite, I'm not exactly sure if you're able to notice here, whenever you open or close any app from the home screen, the animation is now different here. It's looking like the zooming in or zooming out kind of thing. Yes, whenever you open or close any app from the home screen, you will see this new animation. And by default, if you are using the previous version of Android 15, you will notice there's a difference. Let me see if I have any other device I have. Let me show you. This is what we have by default. If, before before this previous before this update this is how the animations were looking like so yes definitely some new animation changes are there basically android 15 focus on some great animations another thing is what you will find in the keyboard section the language switch key is now at the right bottom previously it was not here and yes this was also available with the leaks in the previous two or previous few days basically and it's now rolled out with android 15's qpr1 beta 2 the update is qpr1 beta 2 the next month you will get the beta 3 and maybe so on this is what we have also we have new options in screen recording not exactly new option but you can see this is record one app record entire screen previously it was uh, this entire screen not record entire screen the text is now changed and also here if you choose any app to record screen the timer if you're able to notice the timer here it's now at the left top previously it was at the right side of the notch but now it's available on the left side of the notch this is these are just some minor changes though these are not actually related to android 15 but these are implemented with android 15's latest update so i just wanted to let you know these were some noticeable changes which you get with this latest update. Although it was expected that because it's a QPR beta update, so you might not get any major changes, but the settings UI is one of the changes which is actually so good. Personally speaking, this card style UI, although it's not new, I know available, this is available in many custom rooms already, available in some other devices already, but definitely with the Android 15 official stable release, you might get this new UI. So that's a great thing. That's basically an advantage. So new settings UI is implemented and in upcoming days with the upcoming new updates you might get some new changes for sure notification cooldown is coming back and i guess we have some widgets and in case you don't know lock screen also getting widgets by default it's available for tablets but in custom rooms you will get some widgets on the lock screen available uh, coming in very interesting one custom room so that's it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one